Welcome to sixth grade history. This is lesson 164. We're reviewing chapter 17 and 18 for your test tomorrow. Also, we're going to be looking at the map, uh, map masteries 17. Okay, so I have on there 16 and 17, um, but 17 is for this test, 16 and, and 17 are for the final test. So you can um, just worry about South America um, and all the places that it says on this, on the map mastery, okay? So not everything that's listed on the map are stuff that you need to know for the test. They do give you a lot more than what you need to know. So the boundaries um, of it, so the Caribbean Sea at the top, Atlantic Ocean um, to the right side of it, the Pacific Ocean to the left, Panama, um, is where it connects with Colombia. The Strait of Magellan is that strait um, down where at the bottom with Tierra del Fuego and Cape Horn. Um, so, and then the countries, of course, all those countries you need to know the location of Brazil, Peru, Chile, Argentina, Ecuador, Colombia, Venezuela, Guyana, Suriname, French Guiana, Bolivia, Paraguay, and Uruguay. All right, so all of those you're gonna need to know. Um, and then these cities, okay? So some of the main cities, but not all of them. So Caracas in Venezuela, Bogota, Bogota in Colombia, I'm sorry, I keep saying that one wrong. Quito in Ecuador, Rio de Janeiro in Brazil, Santiago in Chile, Manaus in Brazil, Lima in Peru, Sao Paulo, Sao Paulo, in Brazil and La Paz in Bolivia. Okay, so you notice that some, some of the country's capitals are not listed there, so make sure you know these ones for sure, all right? Um, then those land regions, so the Andes Mountains, Patagonia, Pampas, Gran Chaco, um, Brazilian Highlands, the Selvas, Guiana Highlands, that's right below the three Guianas, um, Atacama Desert um, and Mount Aconcagua. And then we've got some rivers and lakes that you need to know um, and some islands. So the Amazon River, Madeira River, uh, Orinoco River, Rio de la Plata. Um, that one, remember, comes up and goes into the um, between Uruguay and Argentina. Um, Lake Maracaibo and Lake Titicaca. Maracaibo is up at the top um, in Venezuela and Titicaca is down in the Andes Mountains, close um, between Bolivia and Peru. All right. Um, you will need to know Tierra del Fuego and Cape Horn down there at the bottom. Um, Tierra del Fuego is the one on top. Cape Horn's below that. Falkland Islands. Um, those are off to the right side of uh, Tierra del Fuego. South Georgia Island is way out there um, in the Atlantic Ocean. And then the Galapagos Islands, you're going to need to know. And those are in that little box in the Pacific. So they're, they're not actually, they wouldn't be as close to South America as this is. But in order to get it on the page, they had to put it, that's what they do. They put it in a little box and they bring it over. Same thing that they do with Hawaii and Alaska, because you know that those aren't just sitting in squares right below California. So um, just that sort of idea. All right, so those are the things that you need to know on this map. So make sure you study the map and go over that really well. Um, <clears throat> I am going to ask you questions from the comprehension check. All right, so. Um, just a couple of things. What is the definition for South America? You know, the definition for South America. Okay, it's the fourth largest continent, most of which lies in the torrid zone. Okay, so that's our definition for it. What about the Andes Mountains? What's significant about that? It's the longest and the second highest mountain range in the world. Mount Aconcagua, what do we know about that? It's the highest mountain in the Western Hemisphere located in Argentina. Um, the Amazon River, 
What's significant about that? It's the world's largest and second longest river. What's the longest one? The Nile, okay, very good. Amazon River Basin, what's the definition for that? The world's largest tropical rainforest. Very good, okay. Um, so I'm gonna ask, we're gonna keep moving to a different section. Name the wide plateau found between the eastern and western ranges of the Andes. The wide plateau found between the eastern and rest, western ranges of the Andes. Altiplano, Altiplano. You can think plan, plano um, as a plain, which is like a plateau. And then alti is, is like altitude. So um, a, a plain on a high altitude is how that um, interpret, interpretation is. What is the largest animal of South America? The tapir, tapir, tapir. I forget how I pronounced that before. Uh, however we pronounce that, it's a hog-like animal called the ta ta tapir or tapir. Name the largest snake in the world. Anaconda, very good. What are the flesh-eating fish in the Amazon called? Piranha, piranha, very good. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to ask, I'm going to give you a, a fact, a noted fact about someone, and I want you to tell me who did this. Who was the Spanish conquistador whose search for gold led him to kidnap and then kill the Incan ruler Atahualpa? Eventually, he and Pedro de Valdivia controlled most of South Americans, America's Indians. Who was this? Francisco Pizarro, Francisco Pizarro. Who was the Portuguese navigator who claimed Brazil for Portugal? Portuguese navigator who claimed Brazil for Portugal? Pedro Alvarez Cabral, Pedro Alvarez Cabral. Um, with a lot of these names, if you know the last name, um, you're usually good with that. Um, and so you just, if you can remember the last name, um, remembering the first name doesn't, um, doesn't usually work because a lot of people's first names might be similar. You know, there's a lot of Johns out there, a lot of Davids, but how many Vespucci's are there? <laughs> how many Cabral's? Um, so uh, there's fewer, and when we're studying them, um, unless there's met two that have the same last name, as long as you get the last name, I'll give it to you, okay? All right, who was the first European to sail from the Atlantic to the Pacific Ocean? First European to sail from the Atlantic to the Pacific Ocean. Ferdinand Magellan, very good. What man explored the coast of Brazil, Uruguay, and Argentina, realized that this land was a new world? Amerigo Vespucci, very good, all right. Who was the George Washington of South America? Leader in the struggle for independence from Spain, free Colombia, Venezuela, Ecuador, and part of Peru, Bolivia, it was named in his honor. Simon Bolivar, very good. Who was one of the first Protestant missionaries in South, to South Africa, started schools using the Bible as his main textbook? James Thompson, okay, James Thompson. Um, and so just, I wonder if this is the same Thompson. Now, I, my, my study Bible is a Thompson chain reference study Bible. And, I wonder if it's the same guy. I have to look that up. But um, so that's James Thompson was that man. Um, all right, two American missionaries martyred as they attempted to bring the gospel to the Aka Indians. Okay, the two two best known missionaries martyred because there were five of them: Jim Elliot and Nate Saint. Very good. Uh, what Inca ruler kidnapped by Pizarro and later killed by the Spanish? Who was that? Atahualpa. At Atahualpa. Um, we already did say that one, but that's okay. The, who was the conquistador who, conquistador who, along with Pizarro, gained control over 
most of South American Indians by the mid 1500s. We said this one too, so see what you remember. Pedro de Valdivia, very good. Leader who led his native Argentina and Peru in a revolt against Spain. Who was that leader? Jose de San Martin, okay? And the man who assisted by San Martin gained independence for Chile. Who was the other man there? Bernardo O'Higgins. O'Higgins would be that last name, okay? Um, who were the Indians who established a great empire in the Andes, centered in Peru, but extending from northern Ecuador to central Chile? The Incas, very good. And then the capital and center of Inca civilization was what city? Cusco, Cusco, all right. What was the language of the Incas? The language of the Incas? Incas? Quechua, Quechua. All right. <clears throat> Moving on to some chapter 18 questions. What are fazendas? What are fazendas? They're the mountainside coffee plantations. Fazendas. Okay, pamperos, pamperos, what are those? The violent gales and heavy rains that periodically occur on the pampas are pamperos, okay? So you think pamperos on the pampas, um, so those are the violent gales and heavy rains um, that, that will come across it. Estancias, estancias, what are those? They're cattle ranches in South America, okay? Uh, what city was once the capital of the Inca Empire? You may have just said this one. Cusco, and it's been in Peru, so Cusco, Peru. What is Ecuador's largest city, chief, ec chief port, and center of trade? I don't know if you remember this one. It's Guayaquil, Ecuador. Guayaquil, Ecuador. What is the oldest permanent European settlement in South America? Cumana, Venezuela. Cumana, Venezuela. Name the city that was once Brazil's capital. Its harbor is one of the seven natural wonders of the wor world. Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. What is the largest city in South America and the industrial center for Latin America? The largest city in South America and the industrial center for Latin America. San Paulo, Brazil. San Paulo, Brazil. What is the city? Which city is the center of trade and commerce for the Amazon basin? That's Manaus, Brazil. Manaus, which is one of the reasons you have to know that one for the test. Name the important seaport and center of industry in Chile. Valparaíso, Chile. Valparaíso, Chile. So they're the most important seaport and center of industry. All right, most more Indians live here than in any other country. So which country in Brazil has more Indians? Peru. Okay, I think where the Incas settled their empire. That would that's where the most most of them still live. Its capital is the oldest of all South American capitals. Which country's capital is the oldest of all South American capitals? Ecuador, very good. One of its two capitals is the world's highest capital city. So which one has two capitals? Bolivia, and for bonus points, what are the two capitals? Sucre and La Paz. Sucre and La Paz, very good. Um, it was named for Christopher Columbus, the, the country. Colombia, very good. It has South America's largest lake and the world's highest waterfalls. Which country? Venezuela. Which country is official language is English? It's Guyana, Guyana. 
It won its independence from the Netherlands in 1975. It was known as Dutch Guiana before. Suriname, okay, Suriname. Its population is nearly as large as all other South American countries combined. Brazil, okay, very good. Think of the one that's the most, the biggest and the most populated. Because it is a major wheat producer, it is called the granary of the South. Which is the granary of the South. Argentina, okay, so Argentina is able to produce a lot of wheat. So think of the South, there's only two countries that fall right in the South. That's Argentina and Chile. Chile's not wide enough to, to have um, crops, plus they have a rocky terrain. So Argentina is the only one that it could be that's the gray area of the South, okay? Um, it is the southernmost South American country. <laughs> the southernmost South American country is Chile. All right, I keep giving you guys clues on answers or something like that. <laughs> so, all right, so I'm going to define, give you a definition of a geographical location. You tell me which it is, okay? Land in southern Argentina, much of which is deserted. It, I mean, it's desert. It means land of the big feet. Land in southern Argentina. Patagonia, Patagonia, all right? Which is the highest navigable lake located on the border of Peru and Bolivia? So it's a lake. Lake Titicaca, Titicaca, okay? Um, a group of islands off the southern tip of South America is called what? Tierra del Fuego. Tierra del Fuego, very good. One of the driest regions of the world located west of the Andes on the coastline, coastlands of Peru and Chile. Driest region, the Atacama Desert, very good. Um, one of the seven natural wonders of the world, Rio de Janeiro is located here. Okay, so this is the specific place in Rio de Janeiro that is the seven, one of the seven natural wonders. Guanabara Bay, Guanabara Bay, okay? And then South America's largest lake located in Venezuela is Lake Maracaibo, Lake Maracaibo, very good. All right, the three rivers that water Brazil's southern plateau. What are the three rivers that water Brazil's southern plateau? All right, so these should be easy to remember because two of them are country names, Uruguay River, Paraguay River, and then the Parana River, okay? So Uruguay, per Paraguay, and Parana are the three rivers that water the southern plateau, okay? One of the most important hydroelectric plants in the world located in the Parana, on the Parana River is what? The Itaipu Dam, the Itaipu Dam. What is the famous monument in Argentina? The famous monument in Argentina. Christ of the Andes, Christ of the Andes. River on which Buenos Aires is located. What river is Buenos Aires located on? Rio de la Plata, Rio de la Plata. All right, so we're moving on to some people. Who was the British Prime Minister whose forces defeated Argentina in the Falklands War? The British Prime Minister was Margaret Thatcher. Margaret Thatcher. Who was the son of the King of Portugal who declared Brazil's independence from Portugal, later forced to resign as Emperor of Brazil? Who was that? Pedro I. He was still considered a um, an honored national hero. All right, um, British naval officer who made the first attempt to bring the gospel to Tierra del Fuego and died of starvation because the Indians would not let him leave his ship. Who was that? Captain Allen Gardner, Captain Allen Gardner. And who was the daughter of Pedro II who declared all slaves in Brazil to be free? which is why they had 
Oh, Pedro the First was not. I'm sorry. Pedro the First was not a national hero. Pedro the Second was a national hero. What is his, what was his daughter's name? Princess Isabel. Okay, and she, uh, when she did that, she forced the royal family from Brazil. Okay. All right. So I'm going to give you the a a made um, a, a resource, and you're going to give me the country that produces the most of it, all right? Petroleum, petroleum, Venezuela, beef. Which one produces most beef? Argentina, what about copper? Which country produces the most copper? Chile, what about natural gas? It's Venezuela again, okay? So petroleum and natural gas, they kind of go together. All right, finest coffee. The finest coffee is Colombia. Very good. And the most coffee is Brazil. Okay, right. You guys are good at this. All right, so study this. Make sure you know that map really well. And um, do well on your test tomorrow. And then we'll just start on with some review lessons to the end to get you guys ready for the final test and then school's going to be over so before we know it we are we're going to be able to just relax and not have to worry about doing um all this extra work um and all the extra things that we're doing because of this this time so uh, but keep working hard to the end and and we will we will see you in the next lesson and it should be help for your last lesson today, so.